Now, if you want perfect Labrador retrievers, just like my two mates here, there are a few things that you absolutely must do to ensure you have success as well. And in today's video, I wanna talk about the three things that you have to be doing with your Labrador. Now let's start with the top tip that I can give you for being able to achieve wonderful Labrador retrievers, just like my role model dog here, Uncle Sully. Break, good boy. And the first tip I want to talk about is the importance of crate training. Crate training couldn't be further from cruel or unnecessarily. I truly believe it's one of the single best things that you can do for you and your dog. And if you crate train properly with as much positive association as possible to help them understand that this crate is their space, it's their quiet space for them to relax and unwind where nobody's going to bother them, you will have a dog that truly loves being inside their crate. And when you can have a dog that loves being inside their crate, especially when they're in puppy adolescence and that teenage phase, you're going to stop your dog from barking at everybody that goes past the window. You're gonna stop your dog from having the vast majority of toilet accidents around the house. You're going to stop your dog from destroying your furniture or hard earned possessions. You know that you can put your dog in a safe place where it's happy to be and you can leave the house relaxed and calm and you can come back to the house calm and assertive as a good leader for your dog should to set you and your dog up for massive amounts of success. One of the single best things that you can do for your Labrador is to crate train it. Good dog, yes. Break, go on. Now the second biggest tip that I can give you for your Labradors to help you set them up for massive amounts of success is to be able to go on a loose lead pack migration every single day. Now, not only does training your dog to walk nicely on a loose lead make the act of walking far more enjoyable and relaxing for both you and for the dog, which means you're more likely to walk your dog, which means you're more likely to walk your dog further, which means you're more likely to give your Labrador more exercise. And a well-exercised Labrador is simply a better Labrador that displays less destructive behavior, less reactive behavior, is easier to socialize and is easier to train. Not only does a loose lead pack migration fix all of those problems, but there is no better tool in your arsenal to help your dog look up to you for guidance and direction, trust in you as their loving leader, than going on a pack migration where you're leading the migration. It taps into very, very natural ancestral DNA in our Labrador's minds. And I call it putting pennies in your piggy bank of leadership. Every single walk you go on where your dog is following you and your guidance and direction, you're filling up your piggy bank of leadership leadership to the brim. So if in a God forbid situation, your dog's running out towards traffic, where your dog's doing something that they shouldn't be, you find yourself in a situation that you can never plan for, and you need to make a withdrawal from that piggy bank where you need your dog to listen to you, zero exceptions, you can smash into that piggy bank of leadership and it is full to the brim. Do not waste the opportunity at your disposal. Put the little bit of hard work in that I've shown you time and time again on this channel and over on my main training channel of how you can achieve a loose lead pack walk. Do it every single day and you'll have massive amounts of success with your Labrador. Riley, place. Good girl. Which takes us very nicely, break, onto my third tip, which is teaching your Labrador a place command. Having the ability to send your dog to a specific place, and then if you so choose to ask them to stay there for extended periods of time, will be an absolute life changer and will simply change the experience that you have living with your Labrador. When you have guests coming to your home, when somebody wants to come and deliver a package, when you're out and about and you want to simply control them in a certain space. Having the ability to use a place command and then put on top of that a stay command is so, so useful and makes the act of living with your dog simply a more joyful experience. So don't forget, 
Put the work in to crate train in your dog. Put the work in to loose lead training your dog and put the work in to place training your Labrador and your Labrador will become the dream canine companion that you've always wanted. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to learn more about one of my favorite breeds in the world, the Labrador Retriever, make sure you subscribe to this channel because it's exactly what it's designed to do. And I can't wait to see you on the next episode.